Alright, what's going boys? Welcome back to another video. So this video is basically a vlog-ish type of video, a full-on vlog. It's more of just loads of clips I've got, loads of videos I filmed on my phone. So quality is okay, but it isn't the greatest in the world. But yeah, loads of clips I recorded from my phone of me at MotoGP Qatar. Obviously, if you didn't know, that is a trip that I won from the MS Bike LAN event. Uh, me, Lens and Cam got an all-inclusive VIP um, weekend in Qatar for MotoGP. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. A little bit different. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe. And I will talk my way through this video a little bit. So yeah, uh, this was the drive from the airport to the hotel. Uh, I en actually ended up following the coordinates to the track instead of the hotel. So we actually went past the hotel, up to the track, and then I turned around and come a little bit around again. But yeah, some of the buildings that you find around uh, Lucille City, oh my word, you'd never see anything like in the UK ever. And literally every single building has LEDs or it's glowing or it's got something, some sort of pattern on it or something. Everything just looks so colourful there. Everything's lit up everywhere. There's no like dark spot anywhere. I didn't really get it on video, but this building was actually changing colours. It was like an RGB building, which is quite funny. These buildings that you see on the screen, I think are probably my favourite buildings that I saw. Now yeah, we got to the hotel about 9 o'clock here, checked in. Uh, it's a good hotel to be honest, it is actually really, really posh. It's a 5 star hotel and yeah, it was actually really nice. The rooms were really nice. This was like the main lobby area where we had dinner and everything. So yeah, this was the uh, the room, little room tour. We had two little business with each other. We had like a TV in the corner, a whole table that went all the way down if you wanted to put stuff on the side. This was like the living room kind of area. It's nice to come back and sort of just chill on some sofas, put a telly on. There weren't many channels for Mink Fitness, so I sort of just put YouTube on. Little coffee station, there was a fridge underneath that. Little bathroom as well. Bathroom was quite nice to be fair. Floor was very slippery out of the shower, but bathroom was nice. Yeah, got up about, about 10 o'clock. I think we ended up getting up on Saturday because uh, we didn't actually get to the hotel until about 10 p.m. or about 10 p.m. then. Did actually sleep to about midnight? So, got up quite late. We missed the whole breakfast that they had at the hotel, but it's fine. We ate when we got to the VIP village anyway. Uh, but yeah, this was a view out the window. Some of the buildings were really, really weird. Obviously, that's all La Salle City there. No idea what that building was. It was like a, like a round sort of building. It was quite odd. But yeah, the view was actually alright from the hotel, which was nice. Went to the little accreditation thing, got our VIP passes. It was silver for Saturday, and then we had gold for Sunday, which was quite cool. This was a, yeah, the drive through Went underneath this tunnel, the whole La Salle International Circuit tunnel. Actually, pretty sick, to be fair. Went all the way down it, and then you come out the other side. And all the flags and everything. And it was quite cool to think who had gone through that tunnel because obviously it's a whole GP track. I think they've done F1 here a few times. I can't actually remember if I'm completely honest, but I know they've done obviously have GP here every year. So it's quite cool to think who had actually gone through that tunnel because this was a whole VIP section up here. But yeah, once we got in and parked, this was the like background of the pits. They had their hospitalities and the garages and all that behind us. Um, yeah, and then we went up to the VIP area, went up to the balcony right above the uh, right above the little pits area, above their garages. And uh, yeah, it was actually really, really loud. I was not actually expecting the bikes to be so loud. As soon as we got there, I was practically holding my ears every time a bike came past. But yeah, this was the whole like VIP balcony, which was really, really sick. And it was really, really hot that day too. This was actually the World Champion Trophy, which was pretty sick. It had everyone's names on it, like previous World Champions, and that was in the VIP little village, so that was really cool to see as well. This was our little table, table one. We all gave them a table, and uh, yeah, the table's actually really nice. And then we got to do the little pit walk thing. We got to go next to all the garages and got posters and pictures and everything like that, which was really, really cool. But yeah, this was the first little race. This was the Asian Talent Cup, I believe it was called. Like the younger guys, I think they were like 14 to 17 or something. But yeah, they were there as well as well as the Moto3, Moto2 and obviously MotoGP guys. But yeah, it was quite cool to watch some younger guys do the racing. But yeah, skipping forwards a bit. This was about 
6 p.m. I believe it was. I think this was Moto 3 qualifying. So yeah, this was quite good to watch getting to the bigger bikes now. Yeah, this was the on the Saturday night. This was the MotoGP sprint race, so it was 11 laps. The main race the next day on the Sunday was 22, so it's basically half of the real race. It's just another half race, but it's a sprint race, so you get points for it as well. So this is pretty good. They were all just getting ready to go. I was showing the lights. Obviously, safety cars just gone out as well. And my God, were they loud! Shout out IBS Kelso made an appearance. <laughs> I saw that when Liz pointed out to me. I thought that was quite funny. And yeah, the VIP section had like a roof. So this was on the very, very top of the roof. And I'm not gonna talk, I'm gonna put the volume up. I'm gonna let you guys hear how loud these bikes actually are. Alrighty, good morning people. Day two. I think it's gonna be 27 today. So, can't wait for that. Yes, yeah, it's going to be very, very hot. I don't know how we work this weather. I think I just quit. <laughs> this is the shopping centre. Big shopping mall. This was like the most bougie shopping centre or a shopping mall I've ever seen. There was literally just gold everywhere on everything. Gold trim everywhere. Yeah, and then we were back at the track again. This was back on the roof and the view is so nice at the top. You can literally see pretty much the entire track. You can see all over the back there. You can see the rest of the track and yeah, this view is amazing. Don't even want to hang my phone over the edge to be honest the Asian cup that are out now. Oh my god. We're nearly at the lights, that's how high we are right now. We're nearly at the flood lights. Crikey. That's where we're coming from, that little bridge down there. Can't go back to come around now. Oh yeah, here we go, they're lining up on the grid. God, they could do with some chairs up here. Oh my god, we're hiding all these up. Must be nice to live as a VIP. Guys, please become a member so I can get ready to live like this forever. Right, yeah, so we'll uh, skip forwards quite a bit now. Uh, this was the main race, this was the main MotoGP race that we flew all this way to watch. Um, yeah, the little, the little band sort of got a little marching band going on before. And uh, yeah, so this is the main race that is about to begin now. But yeah, once these guys had finished, uh, the next clip that you will see is the start of the MotoGP race. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. 
that was my weekend, my free weekend away in Qatar for the MotoGP race. And yeah, what an experience it was. Shout out to all the inner esports and the equine official guys, everything for making this all happen. The whole got the whole VIP experience. And yeah, got all these fireworks at the end just to see it all off. But that was um it was such a good weekend, I had a great time, it was good to see everyone again and I've never been to a GP before, so it was good to Good to do it as a VIP, so I've got the full experience as my first time. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.